So what business do we have saying that we can make a movie, release it, and even try to be financially successful with it? Well, let me give you a little bit of our experience. Uh, I've written and directed and released two feature films along with 20 years of experience in commercial work and working at churches and creating all kinds of videos. But the two feature films we've made, uh, our first film, Uganda Man, was made for around $5,000 and it was about the water crisis in Mashiri, Uganda. And went over there, filmed it, had a really great experience, came back, released the film, and it wound up making over $250,000 to help eradicate the water crisis in this community in Uganda, helping save thousands and thousands of lives. We're all very proud of every one of us who worked on it. And, uh, you know, it's, it's a Herculean effort to make a movie and release it. There's a lot of problems to solve along the way, and I really think the values of communication, collaboration, and problem solving, you know, it's like you're jumping off the cliff with the airplane and you gotta get it flying before it hits the ground. And that's always the case with every movie. Don't let anybody tell you the difference uh, along the way. Along with the businesses that we've had with a successful marketing company, and with commercial work that we've done over the years, we know how to connect with an audience. We know how to release a film. We know how to make it generate income through digital platforms and theatrical releases, uh, especially with my second film, The Challenger Disaster. Wrote and directed that movie. And, you know, that was definitely a bigger undertaking. I think we spent around uh, $180,000 on that film. It looks like it cost more than it actually did because we had a lot of great people working on it which is a filmmaker is uh, really how you're able to make a movie. There is no such thing as an independent filmmaker. You need a team of people. And so we have a team of producers, filmmakers, financial people that we rely on to help us along the way. And a film like this, you know, we get to make it over a long period of time, steal the naughty list I'm talking about. We get to make it over a long period of time so we can get the animation to the point where we like it. We like the charm of the animation and the stop motionness of it. Uh, but anyways, back to the Challenger disaster. We made that movie. Uh, we put it out. We released it. Uh, you know, we learned a lot of valuable lessons along the way. You know, it was really a niche uh, audience for that movie. We had a lot of success with college educated adults in uh, high level professions like lawyers, engineers, doctors, um, you know, which is why when we're making this film, we want to go in a different direction and appeal to families. You know, animated films produce so much more income than dramatic films. And we're very proud of the Challenger disaster and even how it performed uh, financially. But we're really excited what Steal the Naughty List can do. And even how like on the front side, like some things that we can do to ensure that as we're making the movie, we're hitting markers along the way, using the right voiceover cast. You know, the messages we have in the film are going to connect with the audience down the line when we release it to the public and have them pay for it so that they'll promote it to their friends, they'll promote it to their family, that they'll watch it year after year. So that's a little bit of our experience and why we think this is a good idea for you to invest in Steal the Naughty List and List Productions LLC uh, today and uh, yeah, so there are more videos on here for you to look at and get some of your questions answered.